Hi, this is Paul DeWarring with Awesome Dynamic. Just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to use this good reviews for WordPress plugin. I have this installed on one of my client's websites. I just want to show you what the plugin page on WordPress looks like. Uh, it's got decent reviews here. Uh, over a thousand installs uh, last updated four months ago uh, and uh, the reason we want to pursue using this plugin is because it allows you to put the schema markup for better SEO on the page it also has some other neat features here uh, which I won't get into in this video but uh, we're going to show how to use it so once this is installed on your website uh, you'll see on the left here a reviews button so if I click on this reviews button, it's going to bring me to a page where I can add a new review. Can, and once I add them, they show up in here. I'll click on the add new button. And once I click add new, I'm able to put in the name of the reviewer. It asks for enter reviewer here. So I'm going to put in my name. And this is for a massage therapy clinic client of mine. So I'm going to put their, uh, a review that I have of their uh, service. I've definitely used their service before. It is fantastic. I visited the Libertyville Massage Therapy Clinic many times and have always had an outstanding experience. I really enjoy how the therapists uh, put an S there will evaluate uh, challenges I'm having with my neck and back pain and provide suggestions not only for the massage therapy but also changes that I can make in my daily life. Uh, so once I have this here, um, depending on what your website has installed, we'll see that you know, this Yoast is not going to be important for this at this point. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to get into that now. But just re regarding the review plugin, I would go into, uh, it, it says you can put in the reviewer organization, reviewer website, uh, the review date. That's one that I am going to put in here. Down here, I can put the rating. I'm going to do five out of five. And I'm going to put the stars. And that's all you essentially need to do. So the name, what they said. Here we have the review date and the rating. Five out of five and show rating as stars. So that's all you really need to do. Uh, there's, of course, more that you can do. In, in uh, search engine optimization, the more you do, the better. But uh, this is the basics. And that's what I really wanted to cover in this. So once I click the publish button here, that will make this review available to drop into a page. And uh, I'm going to wait for this to refresh here. So now this is uh, available to use. I'm going to go to one of the pages on this uh, website, which is the Swedish Massage page. And I'm going to put a testimonial next to this other one that they just put in here. So I'm going to drop that testimonial that I just put in right over here. I'm using Beaver Builder to... Uh, modify the content on this website. So I'm going to activate that program. And over here under this picture is where I want it to be. So I'm going to go to WordPress widgets. And then good reviews is the name of the plugin. So I'm going to just drop this in underneath the picture. It's going to give me some options. And what's really cool here is I can just click on the review that I just made. I entitled it with my name. And uh, this other option doesn't matter because there's only one review to display because I uh, selected the one. And we can see right away how it looks. This is how it looks out of the box. Of course, uh, you know, some folks might want to use CSS styling to make these stars gold. Maybe have those stars be at the bottom. Uh, probably get rid of this gray box if you wanted. There's all sorts of styling attributes you could do. Uh, apparently, this plugin allows you to add photos of the person, you know, all sorts of other information. But you can see what I put in, the 5 out of 5 stars. The inf the uh, testimonial itself is there, the date and my name. So all those things are there. And if I hit Save and Done, Publish, that will put that testimonial, testimonial on this page. But what's really important is the schema markup behind it is there. So if I go to the Rich Snippets testing tool from Google and I take the URL of this page and pop it in there, I'll fetch URL, I'll paste that URL in, fetch and validate. 
It's going to flag something for the video that's in the page, which isn't important, but over here is what we're looking for. It says it finds the review. Everything's all good. It sees the review body, the date published, the name, description, and URL of the business, the item reviewed, the reviewer rating. Uh, we have rating value, 5 out of 5. And then the author is my name right here. So that's on the page. That This is a way to test to make sure it's working. Now, how does this benefit your SEO? Uh, right away, you're not going to see this for their page in the Google search results. So if I just Google this page, google.com, punch this page in. Uh, what we're going to see is the gold star show up on the organic search results somewhere on this listing. I'm going to show you a quick example for another one of my clients. Uh, they use the rich snippets and you can see all these results here for this really competitive key term. You see theirs is the only one that has these gold stars showing up. But because we used this method and that schema markup is behind the testimonial, this set of gold stars will show up on the organic uh, uh, listing. Well, Google can decide to show. It doesn't mean it will show. But now we at least have that opportunity. And when we're scrolling through results and we see it, the eye snaps to it immediately and can help trump the statistics on which result is clicked first. So the idea here is to get one, at least one testimonial on each page on your website. And if you use the method that I just showed you with this really easy to use plugin, that's going to be super easy because the code to put behind it isn't necessarily the easiest thing in the world, but using this method will make that easy. Thank you for joining me. If you want to learn more, please visit awesomedynamic.com or call 800-238-1811.